you know, whenever I've met Kiran Bhai, I've interviewed him, Kiran Morey, I always ask him about the Javed Nayadad incident. And the Steve Waugh incident, you have gone down in, in folklore because, you know, everybody talks about it. Uh, how he says that when he started playing, you were in your nappies and things like that. Did you get an opportunity ever to apologize to him? <laughs> or no, I didn't. Something no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. But I uh, there was there was another incident which the you know, as you said, wicket keepers are are a little naughty and you know they have that uh, other other side of them. So you know I didn't. I never got chance of uh, meeting him after that uh, test match. But I bumped into Austin Waugh, uh, his son. His son, uh, yeah. You know when when India was uh, India was playing fourth uh, test match in Australia this uh, when we won the series this time around. So I went up to him. He was he was carrying drinks for Australian team. So I went up to him, walked down, and said, "Please pass my regards to your dad." And I told him, "You were in your nephews when I made my test debut." This <laughs> his words are back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and you know the thing with Aussies is, I mean, the, the little bit that I know as a journalist, having met Binga and Gilly and Maddie Hayden, is that you know they're off the pitch, they're totally different human beings, or Absolutely, especially when you're yeah. on the same team as them. You know, so I'm yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, when you meet Mr. Waugh, I'm sure it'll just, you know, he'll just laugh about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm definitely. And then you rightly said about Australians. You know, I've, I've played with Matthew Hayden uh, at CSK for three years. You know, he's, he's such a nice human being when, when, when he's in the same side. You know, he, when, even after the uh, IPL finished, I went to Australia with an emerging side where he called me home, uh, prepared a Chicken biryani and dal for me and stuff. And same with Binga. Binga has you know, been commentating with Binga. When they're, they're probably the nicest person off the field. Yeah, and I'm surprised Matty Hayden invited you for a meal because he almost threatened to beat you up once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He did. That was in Brisbane. But yeah, but 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 we became good friends after that. You know, we, uh, we played a lot of cricket together at CSK. We enjoyed each other's company. You know, opening the batting was fun with him. And we've had good times off the field also. So we kind of patched up after that Brisbane incident. No, no, everybody knows what you what happened with you, you and Steve Bob. But what did you say to Maddie Hayden that, that he got so upset? <laughs> I was uh, uh, I was carrying drinks. Uh, uh, it was in Brisbane where Irfan got him out. He, he had already scored a hundred, and it was a crucial stage where Irfan got him out. And you know, while I was passing by him, I just did just a normal thing, and and he got so pissed off. And and Brisbane's dressing room is like a tunnel where you know he was standing like this fit. It's like if you do this ever again, I'm gonna punch you on your face. I said sorry, I didn't. I just turned around and went off. 